guys, today I noticed a big, big boy dent in the E30. Uh, I thought that it was recent, but I look back on old pictures and the dent has been there since I caught the car. Uh, I guess I just never really noticed, but it is now bothering me. So I'm going to test out the plunger method to pull out this big dent. So we'll see how it goes, see if it's worth it. Don't worry, the plunger has never been used before. So as you can see down here, here's where the dent is. It's a very large dent. It's supposed to be smooth. So, um, it's a big boy dent. And uh, we're going to try to just attach it with the plunger and pop it out. So unfortunately the dent is just like too long, um, the sides, like for the actual plunger. Um, maybe we can try a couple other things. There's no easy way to get behind here to push it out. Um, unless, maybe I can pop this panel off and see if I can get in there. Okay, needless to say, the plunger did not work. Uh, the dent is too weird of a shape. Um, my second option is glue sticks. So I'm going to try to melt some hot glue onto the dent, let it dry, pop those bad boys off, and see how far we'll get. Alright, so I think the idea is to heat up a glue, a piece of hot glue or I guess cold glue, uh, put it on here and then get all four of them on here and try to pull them all out at once. Now we want this to dry fully uh, before we let it go um, or before we try to take it off. The nice thing about the glue is that I'm hoping that it'll just like pop off right after we're done and not leave any sort of residue or marks or anything. So we will see. I think the right way to get a lot of dents out um, is going to be from the opposite side, um, like pushing it out. Um, I think that that's going to be your best bet, but that's also more time consuming. Uh, and not as easy as just heating up some glue and sticking it to the car. Okay, I think I've let them dry enough. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, just going to take these two and just yank them just straight out. Well, that failed. That did not pull out the dent. Uh, I'm wondering, maybe I'll try doing all four of them. Okay, I went with them a little bit closer together. That way I can grab all of them, give them a good yank out. Um, I'm really hoping that this works. Um, if it doesn't, I might try to push it from the inside uh, and see if that gets the dent out. But, um, yeah, I'm feeling not so great about this after the second time. I don't know if I'm using the wrong type of glue sticks or what, but this isn't uh, working as great as the, the video show. You guys have a end all be all dent remover tool or way of getting all the dents out? You let me know in the comments down below. All right, the camera failed there, but that did not do anything. Um, so, I guess the only thing now is to try to push it out. You can buy certain tools like this um, on Amazon. There's just like tons of them. And with these tools, you're supposed to be able to get into certain cracks uh, and pry from the outside. So we're gonna see if we can get an angle down here 
um, and see if we can maneuver this guy around. So I'm just going to try to finesse my way down here, uh, see if I can go even without getting taking this panel off. You can see it's already a bit like open. You know, I decided to just take the panel off because uh, what hole I was trying to get into was going to be this one, um, which as you can see is not good, but this just opens up the entire thing. So I guess we did have access to it all along. What I'm going to try to do is see where, so this line, um, you can see on the inside is this line. So that means that the dent should be right around here. So. I can try to use this as just a pry bar, but I might just like, yeah. So there's nothing good to pry on um, from here. Oh. Yep. Let's see how that dent is looking. Ooh, a little better. I think that there's a wave in it. Okay, that looks a ton better. It's still there. I think that I can still work a little bit of that out. Um, I think what's what should be noted is that you don't want high spots. Uh, you can kind of see that I popped one side out, but the other side didn't come out. So now there's like a wave to it. So I think that there's a little bit of working with it, but I'm just gonna keep messing with this. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm just using this and prying it against uh, the actual seat. Don't worry, I'm reupholstering these seats so I don't care too much if they get dirty. The E30 is real dirty in here. So I found just finding the line, going down, and just pressing it a tiny bit, and just trying to work this entire stretch down since it is such a large dent and again not doing a crazy amount of pressure but just enough to possibly pop the dent out then I'll go in and again it's feeling really good it's looking so much better so you can see that there's a couple little waves but I mean this is I'm a lot happier with this. Okay, this is something that I'm a lot happier with. Um, again, it doesn't look nearly as bad. Uh, there's still a little dent on the door, but that's okay. Uh, I am very happy with this. I think that there's a little bit more like massaging and um, like popping it in that I can do. But I think out of all the methods, this one was for sure the easiest, uh, the most effective. Um, and again, best results. So uh, again, you can see that there's a couple waves in there, but that's a little bit of the fine tuning that uh, I can do tomorrow. But I hope this video helped. Um, again, maybe the plunger will work for you guys. Uh, I know that the E30 is an old 90s car, so the metal is a little bit tougher. Um, they used a lot like thicker metal back then. So the plunger might work great. Um, the glue sticks might also work, uh, but I think that the tools on Amazon um, were for sure the best way to go. Uh, I bought them because I was trying to get the hail damage out, but haven't had much luck on that. 
Um, so I'm glad that I could get this dent out. Okay, as you guys can see, uh, it is the next day. Um, it's a lot brighter outside, but um, I went ahead and worked a little bit more on this actual spot. Um, again, there's still scratches there. There's still a little bit of uh, like denting, um, but I think for the most part, like that looks so much better. Um, again, not perfect by any means, but from where it was, it looks a lot better. And again, there's still a dent on the door, so that makes it look like also worse. So again, it's, it's not perfect, but better. If you guys are trying to remove a dent, uh, if it's soft like plastic or soft metal, uh, maybe try a plunger, try the glue sticks, that might help. But if it's hard metal, I would for sure use uh, some sort of uh, dent removal uh, stick. Um, they're hard steel and it, it works. Um, so I would highly recommend these. Uh, they are super cheap uh, and well worth the money. Um, again, this is hopefully gonna help me get out a couple more dents. Um, I'll work on the E30 just slowly but surely. But I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Until next time, my name is Ryan. This is Project Race Car. Have an amazing day. Peace.